Hi and welcome back to what I believe is lecture 6 of DMAD Marine Mammal Research Association's free series on QGIS. I'm Tim Aubrey and today I'm just going to be talking you through the browser panel and a couple of things that we can do with that to make life a bit easier. If you've skipped ahead and haven't done lesson 4 then we're going to need to download and extract the files that we used in lesson 4. Uh, if you're watching from our website these can be found below but if not, you're going to need to go to www.dmag.org.tr forward slash QGIS hyphen lesson hyphen four. Okay, so we want to open up a brand new QGIS project. And what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to look at a different way of bringing our files in. So rather than each time going to layer add layer, add vector layer, we can simply drag and drop from our browser panel. If you haven't got the browser panel up on the left hand side or anywhere on the screen, you can just right click in any blank space and make sure it's ticked. So I've unticked it there. I right click here and I've re-added the browser panel. Likewise, if there's any of the toolbars that I mentioned in any of these tutorials that you haven't got, just the first thing I would try is to right click and check whether it's ticked. So I know where I saved the files from lesson four, so I'm going to go back through and find them. So they're in my C drive, then in Montenegro, and I go all the way through until through my file structure until I find QGIS lesson four. And then once I found it, I'm interested in the shape file. You'll notice now that QGIS only displays things which can be added at this stage rather than all the files. So we haven't got any SHX files, we've got no DBF files. Um, and I'm going to add this and I can simply drop it, drag and drop into my um, display and it appears. Um, as always, I'm just going to change the color, not that it really matters. Let me change it to simple green fill. I did that by going to symbology. It's always nice to practice these things, especially when you're first starting out. And you can do it with any of these ADM shape files. So zero is just the country outline, getting more and more detailed until we get to uh, ADM2, which has really fine governmental uh, breakdowns. Okay, so that was actually a more long-winded way to do it because we had to go all the way through our file structure. But what we can do is we can create a favorite. So if we go to, I've called the folder QGIS for everyone, and I can right click on this and click as add as favorite. And then next time, when I open QGIS, within my favorites, this folder will already be here. Then I only have to go into lesson four, and then I can go straight into my files. It's simple as that. And once again, I can just drag and drop the areas that I'm interested in. So in this case, the inland water of Turkey and the rivers. Um, and you can see, wow, that's a, an awful lot of information. Very quickly. with no real effort. So you can see all the catchment areas of Turkey and all the waterways as well with very little effort. So that's all I'm showing you this lesson. Um, the browser is a really quick and easy way to get our information in once we're up and running. Remember you just have to right click on one of your files and you can go in and uh, save that as a favorite. Okay, thanks. See you next time. Bye.